Hey there, welcome to Laura's Natural Life, and today I'm going to be doing a Get Ready With Me featuring almost a full face of Lily Lolo products, and almost all of them are going to be a first impressions. <laughs> so, mostly and almost. Anyways, I have already done just a foundation, my eyebrows, and I did a little bit of contour, just because I had to go out before I filmed this and I didn't want to look totally dead. The products I'm going to be demoing today are the eye primer, which has two shades in it, the Sculpt and Glow Contour Duo, new Petal to the Metal Eye Palette, and their mascara. Starting with their Sculpt and Glow Contour Duo, let's start there. I'm going to use my Terry Me Hair Brush and dip that baby into the bronzer contour shade. It is a really nice matte medium tone, so I do think you could use it for either bronze or contour. And for the highlight, I'm just going to use this really big fluffy e.l.f. brush. Dust it along the cheekbones, and then also bridge of the nose. and. Cupid's bow. Definitely say the glow is there, but it's pretty subtle. And you, if you like a more glowy look, you will want to definitely layer up. But it is really pretty and it gives a very natural appearance, I think. Moving on to eyes, I am just gonna pick one of these shades and go for it for the primer. My face is more yellow than pink, so I'm gonna go for the yellow and just go in a really thin layer because I don't want it to get, I just don't know what the texture is of it yet and I don't want to do too much. <laughs> it's a very silky feeling and it does cover up those veins nicely and even the skin tone to look like the rest of my face. Moving on to the eyeshadow. So these are the shades. I'm gonna take this out because it's gonna fall anyway. Um, these are the shades. There are various tones of mauve, gold, and silver. And then there's a charcoal and a nice brown. I just, I'm not entirely sure what look I wanna go for and what I'm gonna choose. I think I'm actually gonna use that same brush that I highlighted with and just apply this like bone color across the entire lid as um, a base up to the brow bone. I'm gonna take this super fine little brush and do this gold just as a brow highlight. Again, this is a Terry Mae hair brush and it has like the finest tip at the end of it, you could probably do um, an eyeliner with it. It's so nice. I'm gonna take my big fluffy brush and go into this mauve shade. There is a little bit of kick up, but honestly, not that bad. And I'm just gonna put this onto the lid up through the crease. It's a really nice, um, like all over the lid, very neutrally color. I like, I'm liking the mauves lately. I don't know why. Then I'm gonna take a slightly smaller brush and go into this dark brown chocolatey shade and do that through the crease. Ooh, that combo is really pretty. I think this brown is super pigmented. The mauve isn't the most pigmented, but it's very buildable. And these are really creamy. They're not chalky either. I'm 
I'm gonna take my finger and use this gold tone and just pop a little bit directly on the center of my lid near my lash line. So using the dark um, charcoal one, not the black, I'm using that really fine tipped point again. And I'm just gonna smudge this along the outer lash line. But that looks really nice. I'm just gonna take my fluffy brush again and make sure everything's nice and blended. The eyeshadows I think are very blendable and creamy. They're not incredibly pigmented, but they do have nice pigment, especially if you build them up a little bit as you just saw. And you guys already know that their mascara is like my number one. So this is the one thing that isn't a first impression for me. Um, so I'll just show it to you on camera. Their packaging is this really nice black and white, very chic. And another thing I love about the line is that it is pretty affordable for um, really nice, high quality green beauty products. All right guys, that is two coats. It gives like the fluffiest lashes in the world. So volumized, I love it so, 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 so much. Can't decide what lipstick I wanna do with this. I kinda wanna do a bright pink. Is that crazy? I'm gonna do a cool tone pink. This one is by Bite Beauty. Haven't used it in like a year because I don't really, really love the ingredients in it, but it's one of my absolute favorites, so I do keep it in the back of my drawer. Oh yeah. Love it. Okay guys, so overall my impressions are that Really am interested to see how the primer lasts throughout the day as well as the eyeshadows and I will update you across the screen or in the down bar about that. Also, if you are very intimidated by contour and highlight, I think their contour palette would be really great for you. I think they also do a blush in contour or a blush and highlight palette that you might be interested in. Obviously, the mascara is amazing and um overall love the packaging love the products love that there is an eyeshadow palette under 35 dollars in green beauty with a ton of shades and the choosy chick is now carrying the full line of lily lolo they sent me these products to check out and share with you guys so definitely a big shout out to them make sure to check out the lily lolo products over there and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video